Welcome to Tax Insights, presented by Hawkins Ash CPAs. And good morning, listeners. Welcome to Tax Insight here on WOMT with Jeff from Hawkins Ash. Jeff, good morning, sir. Good morning, Terry. Today we're going to be talking about meals. We are. Um, because, you know, in general, taxpayers can only deduct 50% of the cost of their food and beverages. But the 2021 tax bill that was recently signed actually removed some of the limitations for the expenses incurred in 2021 and 2022. And, uh, you know, with this, the IRS just came out with some clarification. So my guess is that this ends up being more complicated than you would think, correct? Yeah, yeah, that, that's exactly right. It did come out to be more complicated since they seem to limit the 100% deductions only to food that's purchased in a restaurant kind of setting only. And as we know, I mean, there's a lot of places where you can buy food and beverage. Absolutely. So what do they actually end up saying? So it looks like what they did is they limited the deduction for a restaurant only that prepares, you know, food purchased, I should say, at a restaurant that prepares and sells food or beverages to customers, you know, where you immediately eat it on their uh, business premise. They later clarify that to say, you know, to-go orders and drive-through orders, those are still okay. Um, and what they also do is they also said that a, a place that only sells takeout or like a food truck, that also qualifies. So you don't necessarily have to eat inside of a restaurant, but it does have to be a restaurant type setting so what, in order to get the 100% deduction. So what doesn't it include then? Yeah, so what it doesn't include is things like um, businesses that primarily sell prepackaged food that, you know, isn't intended to eat immediately. Examples of this would be things from the grocery store, maybe a convenience store, liquor stores. Um, but it also doesn't include anything that's bought out of a, a vending machine or a kiosk. So I know many businesses use like a meal per diem, right? Is that 100% deductible? Yeah, as a quick refresher, you know, a number of years ago, the IRS they made it easier to reimburse employees for meals expenses. So rather than have the employee submit a whole bunch of receipts, they're allowed to get reimbursed a set amount of money per day. And this amount depends on what city you're living in. So getting back to your question, since the per diem can actually be used for restaurants and non-restaurant type meals, it looks like that if an employer pays an employer per diem, the 100% deduction does not apply to that type of reimbursement. So what needs to be done then in that case? What's going to have to happen is the employees are going to need to submit their receipts um, to use the 100% deductibility benefit just to prove that they actually went to a restaurant and not like a convenience store sure. to buy their lunch. Now, this is going to be an administrative headache, I think, for employers because they're going to need to accumulate and keep all these receipts in order to get the 100% deduction. So are there other meals expenses that can be 100% deductible? There are, because you know, prior to this law um, being passed, you could deduct 100% of a business meal if it was for things like a company-wide Christmas party or holiday party or other party. You know, maybe food or beverages that were provided to the public at no charge, or food that was included in the taxable wages of an employee. Those were always 100% deductible, and they're still 100% deductible. So last question here, Jeff, because time is running up, but did these rules make any changes to the entertainment expenses? They didn't. So entertainment expenses are still not deductible. But if there's a separate meals component, those meals you know, potentially could qualify as long as it's in that restaurant setting. What has to happen is, is the place that you're having your entertainment has to send you a separate bill for the entertainment part and the food part. Jeff, great information each and every week here on Tax Insight and WMT. How do listeners connect with you and the team at Hawkins Ash? They can go right to our website, which is HawkinsAshCPAs.com. Follow us on Twitter or even like us on Facebook. This has been Tax Insights, presented by Hawkins Ash CPAs. Learn more online at HawkinsAshCPAs.com. Hawkins Ash CPAs, part of your business, part of your life.